يلا محمود محمود Day two of our Petra experience. We're just about to get on the golf buggy, go down to the treasury, and then walk all the way to the monastery and climb the gazillion steps. past a little cafe and uh, still walking towards the monastery and along the way there's always little shops where you can buy water, Bedouin tea, scarves, those sorts of things. It's just over there, it's a shop and this is the direction we're walking. And as you can see there's still multiple caves being carved out where everyone would have lived. Day two at Petra, we're about to walk up those stairs. A thousand steps up to the monastery. We're about seven minutes away from the monastery. This is the view that we currently have. Uh, looking back down towards some of the tombs in the distance, which is a bit difficult to see with the GoPro. This is a little rest stop on the way up to the monastery, the shop. And we we'll continue walking through here. Got some souvenirs. Continue walking out this way. Made it. So we've just arrived at the monastery and it's just around the corner from this rock and you're gonna see it in two secs. Here's the monastery behind us. It's approximately 49 meters high and it's the largest um, archaeological carving in this location in the Petra area and it's actually a fair distance from um, the treasury itself at least four or five kilometers. There's the shops, little rest station Just up the, not the highest point, but one of the highest viewing points. With the uh, valley behind me, as a pan around, you'll see in the distance behind me shortly, uh, the monastery. Just finished having a refreshing Coke, no sugar, or Coke Zero and uh, overlooking the range back down towards where we walked. We're gonna walk back down there. There's a house or some of the better ones that work in this area and uh, obviously that's where they park their cars. This is us walking back down from the uh, monastery. 
We've completed the walk down the thou oh, sorry, up the thousand steps. And we're back down. I'll just film what it looks like in someone's house. A lot of the Bedouins and that that work in this area, or Jordanians that work in this area, this is the places that they live whilst they're working here. We're here in an old church. They found inscriptions on the uh, in this area and um, dated back to like 540 BC or something like that. So this area behind me is known as the palace tomb there's actually tombs all along the uh, side of this cliff face and it's hard to really give you a good perspective of how large these actually are i mean they're actually massive they go all the way out towards the left and right off into the distance and then if i come back around to the right they continue around and then continue back towards the essentially the amphitheater that you would have seen earlier. Just coming to the area known as the Royal Tomb. And once again, it is massive. And this Royal Tomb is actually located high up on the cliff and as you can see behind me that's uh, the valley down below where we've just come from which is going inside the royal tomb and this is essentially what it looks like from the inside welcome just on the roof we have sort of discoloration which would have been more than likely from fires or something they lit inside here. And you've also got the different coloured stone. And it's the souvenir shop located at the tomb. Again, a left back. Bye, Treasury. Bye. <laughs> We're here at the famous cave bar. We're about to go and have a nice refreshing drink after looking at Petra. There's a little model of the uh, treasury at the entrance. And it uh, looks quite cute. Here we are. Um, we stayed two nights here. We're, on, we're saying goodbye to this beautiful rustic sort of Tuscan feel hotel. It's called the old village resort hotel um, this is just the front of it there's an awesome restaurant just down that way which is where we had our romantic dinner the other night this is looking at the front of the resort. We're 
just leaving Wadi Musa now uh, to head back towards um, Amman and uh, we get one last look down towards Petra. We're here at the Shobak Castle which is on the way back to Amman. So we're just at the top of the Shobak Castle. You can see in the distance, and you get a pretty good view. It's actually quite steep um, to get up to the top. So I can see why they actually built it, just because it was uh, would have been pretty hard to attack. That's the view and how steep it is going down. Shadow looks like a willy. standing on top of one of the sort of outposts on the corner of the castle and uh, there's obviously being some restoration being done and come over here you can see the town in the background there so just here is uh, the cistern or where they used to collect the water they used to drain down into here there's like a storage area they used to store all their food and this area was um, the kitchen and you can see sort of the black in the rock and that's where obviously the smoke and soot went up into. And this castle is 900 years old. finished at the Greek Orthodox Church and we're walking the back streets of Madaba. Hi, I'm on board with Jordanian Airlines. We're off to Cairo. 